from director Alex Garland, who brought us such art house hits as Annihilation and Ex Machina and Men comes Civil War. This is a film a lot of people have been talking about. A lot of people were nervous about seeing. A lot of people felt like this film is in poor taste. It's too close to what's going on in the world today in this country or what's going on in this country today. It's gonna rile people up. It's gonna add to the problem. And I went to see it feeling in the pit of my stomach. Do I really wanna watch this? Because this, this kind of does hit a little bit close to home. And it was quite good. I didn't love it, but I thought it was quite good. So the basic story here is it's really not about what's going on now. It is really not political at all. It is about a scenario where the U.S. is engaged in a civil war in the modern day. There are factions. There is, they, they're briefly mentioned there's a faction that is the government and there's a faction that is like a coalition of Texas and California, the Western forces, and they're fighting it out and, and people are trying to get the president, trying to kill the president and, and take over the country. But the film really isn't about those people. The film is about war photographers. This whole movie really is about war photographers. And this could be war photographers in any scenario. It's the basic core of this film is about people who take it upon themselves or their job is to report without bias what's going on. They're there to take photos. They've got the, the tag or the special helmet or the vest where both sides sit and know not to harm these people. They're just photographing what's going on. And it's about the, the disconnect that these people have to have within themselves to just report the news, not get, in, not get involved, not take sides, just be there to tell the story for the present or future. Stars of this film are uh, Kirsten Dunst, uh, Wagner Mora, uh, Callie Spiney and uh, Nick Offerman. Those are the people you probably recognize. And probably the most recognizable face other than that is Jesse Plemons, who is in a cameo. He's in the trailer pretty prominently, but he has a short sequence in the film that is one of the most disturbing sequences in the film. And it's a really, it's a hard film to watch. I mean, visually it's, it's well made. It's just to see these people who are so cavalier and joking around and having fun and, and boozing and smoking it up while all hell is breaking loose around them. The way they, what they have to do to cope with not being affected by what's going on. They still sort of are. And the audience's avatar, so to speak, for this film is the uh, Kaylee Spaney character, who's this young journalist who wants to tag along with the, with, with the grownups, so to speak, and and be a war photographer and, and get in on this. And she is really upset by what she sees and the situation she finds herself in. And over the course of the, the arc of the film, we see her hardening and doing whatever it takes to get the shot and all that. Um, back to the political aspect of this, the sides really aren't even, it, they don't even really get into what either side stands for. You know there are two sides battling each other. You know that you know there there are terrible people on one or both sides, but we never really see what those sides are, and it's done in such a way that you could somebody who does have a strong political leaning one way or the other, as I record this, could see this movie, and identify whichever side they want to as the bad side. You know, what whichever president you prefer, you could easily see the other guy as the president in this film. So it's done well enough that it doesn't get into that. It, it, you, you can put on this film whatever whatever leaning or bias you may have, but it's really not about that. It's really about the people who are reporting that. This could have taken place in Vietnam or Nicaragua or anywhere over time, really. So um, I thought this was good. I felt like it was a little bit too long for me. There are moments of incredible tension in this film, like edge of your seat tension. There are revolting moments of, of violence in it. There are some lighter moments, but whenever there were kind of lighter moments, it never really felt appropriate to me because I'm like, well, this is really, really horrible stuff that's going on right now. So it kind of plays like a horror movie, not so much as because it reflects what's going on now, although it easily could play that way for the same reason or what people think might happen. Um, but it's, it's a horror movie just because the people at the core of this film are going through such awful things. It is reminiscent, some people have said, and I thought, almost of Apocalypse Now, where they're headed up the river in weird, and they come across weird situations, and their things are getting worse and worse as they, as they head to their destination, the destination being Washington, D.C., because one of the journalists' goal is to interview the president before somebody executes him, basically. So, super dark film. 
it was really interesting to me to be able to see this in the Dolby Theater at my local AMC. The Dolby Theater and the IMAX Theater are always reserved for the big bubblegum popcorn Hollywood films. And it's really interesting to me to see an A24 movie be the film that is on the big screen. I believe this was the IMAX and the Dolby screen the week that I saw this. I'm doing this a little bit late. And um, just odd because it's not a crowd pleaser by any stretch of the imagination. And I, I expected that maybe... Godzilla or something would have spent another week on the big screen instead of this, but I'm glad I get to see it that way. I'm glad the theaters, maybe because it's due to a drought of content, are putting some of the smaller films, more indie films, more unusual films on the giant format screens and things like that. But anyway, in theaters now, your mileage may vary. Not a good time by any stretch of the imagination, but well-made Civil War.